hello guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i have brought a package that will let you create emoji alert in flutter so let's start so how you can is go to pub.dev and go to this emoji alert i'll leave a link to this in the description copy the dependencies okay so after copying head over to your pubspec.yml place it here and save your app once it's installed what you can do as you can see here i have an elevated button and in the on press property what we can do is you will get an emoji like this emoji alert so what you can see here the description properties as you can see here the required widget is the description and we have many other widgets which are alert title buttons colors and many other so we will see how you can see the basic it is what the description it takes in a widget so let's take the text of let's say this is description okay so let's just save our app so what we can do is we can simply use this dot display alert dot context and now save the app okay so now as you can see when we press our alert we will see this is a description and with the emoji so how you can change the emoji emoji is there's a property called emoji type and you can display the type that you want for example emoji type dot there are different emoji types such as angry confused cool happy joyful you can check it out let's say we'll take a emoji type angry let's just save our app and now when i press the alert you can see we have an angry emoji type and the description so what we have the most important property is called cancelable like this by default the value is true that is when i press the alert and when i press outside the alert dialog the dialogs get dismissed but how you can change it by using the cancelable property let's say we'll give it a false and now when we press the alert and when i press outside the dialog it will not get disabled so what are the other ways so what we can do is let's have our button that is main button like this on main button press or we have enable main button first we have to enable it using true and you can change the text on the main button like this it takes in the text value as you can see here so we can give it a text value of let's say give it a text of let's say cancel okay and on the main button pressed what we can do is we can give navigator dot pop method to cancel or to pop out from our dialog okay so let's just hot reload our app okay so now as you can see here we have different type of alert and now we have a button called cancel so when i press on this cancel our dialog gets disabled okay so let's see another type of emoji let's say dot cool or let's say of dot laughing let's just save our app alert you can see now we have a different type of emoji we can also control the size of our emoji using emoji size as you can see here the default size is 80 so to increase the height we'll just increase by 20 that is 100 let's just save our app so now you can see that we have the size increase but now as you can see we have this render flex or flow error so how you can remove it is by giving the height that is now we have a fixed height so there is a property called height so let's change the height of our app 
using the height property as you can see the default is 200 so we'll give it a height of 300 let's just save our app and now when i press we can see that we have the height changed that is to to 300 and the errors are gone okay so this is the basics you can try this out and use in your app hope you found this helpful do like share subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video